How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in XR to our setup. So we're gonna do something with XR10. We're gonna add him to the uh, a basic VPLS deployment. So we're gonna take CSR1 and CSR3, and we're going to uh, rely on the encapsulation default because if we go to the sub-interface level, XR doesn't play very well when their sub-interface is involved. And you can configure it, just don't know what the, what it, the, how to do it. But just understand that when you specify the encapsulation and stuff like that, it gets hairy. Um, XR doesn't play well when there's sub-interfaces. It plays much better when the attachment circuit is um, set up globally. Um, so, and no sub-interface. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into that. We'll focus on XR first, since you guys haven't seen me do a whole lot of XR yet. It's actually pretty straightforward. So we're gonna go ahead and log in. And the way you do this is, uh, show IP interface brief. Uh, we look at gig two, so show run interface gig two. We can see that right now it's already set up for L2 transport. And if we show run L2 VPN, there's already a configuration to um, seven for this. So what we're gonna go do is I'm actually gonna go in here and uh, say underneath here, I'm gonna type in no xconnect and commit that. And then we're since we're already under L2, we need to switch gears and focus on the other aspect of this. The other aspect that we need to focus on is gonna be the bridge domain variation. So we don't go underneath the um, the point to point. So one thing that I could do instead, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll configure it globally first and then we'll try a sub interface just because we have to change the methodology. We're not doing a um, uh, an XConnect variation anymore, we're doing a VPLS variation. So we're gonna type in L2 VPN, and underneath here we'll type in the bridge da bridge domain, in this case, or I'm sorry, bridge group. In this case here we're gonna call this uh, 101, and then we'll specify the bridge domain is gonna be 101, and then we're going to say interface, in this case here would be gig 0000002, and then we can do other things that we wanted to. We could um, add in capabilities and stuff like that. There's no way to do encapsulation here, but we uh, could uh, add in other configurations if we wanted to, but we're not going to at the moment. I need to come back up to the main configuration level and type in VFI, and then the name of the VFI is gonna be 101, and then we have to specify a VPN ID. So VPN ID is gonna be 101, and then underneath here, we'll be able to specify our neighbor. So we'll type in neighbor of 100, I'm sorry, 10.0.0.7, but the pseudo wire ID in this case will be 101.17. And I'm sorry, this time here it'll be, we'll do a 101 and we'll do a 70 for uh, XR and uh, XR10 and CSR7. So that, and then we'll also do one to uh, router one, so router one will be this, but we'll put in here. We'll just do a we'll do a seven, we'll do an eleven here. So one hundred one eleven. Okay, so let's do a sh show config real quick, just to show what this looks like. And this is the stanza. So we have the the bridge domain ties to the interface, and then the VFI ties us to the um, the pseudo wires. So that's actually XR makes it easier to follow. So the VFI takes the pseudo wires and groups them together kind of like a uh, loosely analogous to how a port channel works, where here we can do the bridge domain, we're saying the bridge domain is gonna be bound by the bridge group. It's gonna bind the VFI and the bridge domain together underneath the bridge group, because we're trying to bridge the connectivity from the interface to the pseudo wires to allow that multi-point connectivity. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna commit that config. And then I'm gonna go over to CSR7, and we're gonna go to global config and I'm gonna type in the um, interface gig three, do show IP interface brief, do show run interface gig three, and we're gonna type in, uh, we'll type in service uh, instance 101 ethernet encapsulation def uh, default. And then we're gonna jump out of there, and then we're gonna go to um, interface gig three, we're gonna type in bridge domain, I'm sorry, service instance 101 ethernet and then bridge domain, we're gonna say 101. We're gonna exit out of there. 
and I'm going to type in L2 VFI 101 manual. I'm going to type in VPN ID is 101. I'm going to type in neighbor of 10.0.0.10, and then the VCID is going to be 10170, and the encapsulation will be MPLS. I'm also going to do, and we can see that that popped up right away. XR10 it shows, and it's actually starting to do some some work there, so that's all working the way that we needed to. Let me go back to seven, and we're going to go hit the up arrow, and I'm going to pull this guy out. This will be a 10117, back to router one. There we have that. And then we're going to go over to CSR1, and we're actually uh, L2 VFI 101 manual, and then we're going to type in bridge domain 101. Do show run section um, VFI, VFI, not VRF, 101, excellent. And then we're going to go to CSR1. And I'm gonna do the old school way. I'm gonna do the new school, so I'll do the L2VP in context just so you can see how you can play both sides of the coin. If you have an older config on one router, you can do the newer config on the other. It doesn't make a difference, it's locally significant. So what I'm gonna do is interface gig three, do show run interface gig three. We're gonna type in interface gig three. Uh, service instance is gonna be 101 ethernet, encapsulation default. Uh, okay, so I can't do, I should be okay. Actually, let me go ahead and I'll break this one. Uh, interface gig three, no, um, no service instance one, one ethernet. I'll pull this guy off. And then we'll hit the 101 ethernet and then encapsulation default. There we go. And then we'll type in uh, bridge dash domain is 101. Actually, I won't do that here. And then what I'll do is the L2 VPN uh, VFI context is going to be 101. We're going to specify VPN ID of 101. And then we'll type in member, in this case here, is going to be, I'll say, 10.0.0.7 with the Encapsulation of 10117, uh, and then encapsulation is MPLS, and then member of 10.0.0.10 uh, .0 .0 and 10170. Or uh, sorry, uh, what was it? What did I configure it on XR10? I honestly don't remember. I uh, do show run L2 VPN. I specified 11. Okay, so I'll specify 11 here. Encapsulation MPLS. I'll exit out. And so we have 10 is up. So did I configure seven correctly? I did. Curious as to why that's not coming up. I'll focus on the head here in just a minute. Do show run section L2 VFI context 101. Okay, well, it's, it's set up correctly. Oh, um, not sure why that's giving me a hard time. But we'll, um, we'll go ahead and um, get the bridge domain configuration in place. So bridge dash domain 101, and we're gonna type in the member gig three service instance 101, and then member VFI 101. And there it is. So let's just do a show. L2 VPN Adam BC and the connection to 10 is down. But see that's this is where some of those issues come into play where you have to be careful in how you're doing things. So um, let's check this guy here. Ten dot six the show run L2 VPN show L2 VPN, we want to do X connect. Oh, it's crashing. Yep, this is the problem I ran into in the past where the uh, it crashes on me. So 
part of the reason why I don't play around with uh, layer 2 VPN very much on XR. So, so yeah, that's pretty much that. There's not going to be a whole lot I can do about that. Um, so I, I wanted to show you the config for that, but because of the problem we're having, you know, uh, that's the syntax. So uh, you, you saw it first. So it crashed. Um, I have ran into that a couple times in the past where it's just like, meh. Um, so there you have it. <laughs> um, so yeah, other than that, guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you guys in the next video.